What is up, everybody? This morning, welcome to Retro Mornings with Shadow. I don't Lee. know if I'll continue to do Bill this, from but while I get I set up here, hey. let's go ahead and check and out a little Kristen bit of this Copeland, podcast. Also from um, Hi, Hello. Yeah, it's on the and new um, friend of the show, Animal Foster Crossing. From the so social yeah, let's see what's Nintendo going on. America. And back, I got a little hey, static going on with my mic, right, so I'm going to turn down that while you know this is going on because I have to set up a few things here. So while I do that, you guys enjoy this and thank you for stopping in. Don't yeah, forget to smash that <laughs> like button because, yeah, uh, I, I don't know about animal ease, yeah, but I love y'all. And don't forget to follow like because, Isabel you know, I'm always going to be here desk and, and I try my best to entertain. So that's, uh, with that's something TV, that I movies, definitely like. Movies, pop culture, <laughs> feel uh, you name it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to talk about it. So that's extreme great. TV, and, um, shadow obviously extreme. you guys know this uh, game inside and out. Anthony, what's your experience been like with the Animal Crossing series? Yeah, so, um, I'm kind of. I guess you would say new to the series. Um, I, you know, <clears throat> I, I didn't grow up playing it super actively, um, like a lot of people I know. Um, but I'm very excited to play uh, this game on Nintendo Switch. Um, obviously, I watch it direct. Super excited. I'm, I'm a big fan of just that style of game in general, um, which is really just kind of like you know simulating life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, I, I understand there's like all these um, new additions and changes and, and things like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, um, I can't wait to get in there. Yeah, and I mean, in, uh, not only do you have all of the, the new additions and new features, but even the stuff that's kind of, you know, the core elements that have made animal, all the Animal Crossing games, Animal Crossing games, are just still so appealing. And the idea that you can play it at home or take it on the go with Nintendo Switch, I think, really works great for this series because, you know, we've had installments in the past that have been for home consoles, and then um, equally you've had games that have been very popular on dedicated handhelds so this seems like the best of both worlds and and for myself you know i put a lot of time into the first animal crossing game back on uh, nintendo gamecube oh, i probably right. had over 100 hours in that one and then i played animal crossing uh um uh new leaf on nintendo 3ds for quite a bit and the other games i kind of dabbled in but it's been a while since i've really played an animal crossing game so i'm really feeling it right now as the game's about to come out that i'm really excited to get back into the flow of it um, so yeah, let's dive in and talk about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, first of all, uh, as you mentioned, we had the Nintendo Direct recently, which was all about the game. It kind of recapped some of the features we already knew about and introduced some brand new ones. Um, like, for example, crafting items, uh, the ability to reshape the island, <clears throat> island tours, um, the Nook Mileage Program, Party Play, the Real World Nook Link Smartphone App, all these free updates and seasonal uh, guests, and, and lots more. So. First, Bill, I'd like to start with you. Which feature has you the most interested? Well, I think uh, the Nook Mileage program is, uh, is going to be key for me. Um, <laughs> the, the, the idea of uh, sort of almost monetizing your achievements, I think, is, is pretty brilliant. Um, you know, so you're going to get, you're going to earn a currency for uh, just doing the stuff you would you'd normally do um, on Animal Crossing. But now you're getting, you're getting paid to do that. And then you can spend that currency on, on uh, some cool gear and uh, upgrades. For your character, um, so I, I'm not just looking forward to it because of the the upgrades and gear, but I'm not really uh, an Animal Crossing person. It's myself, they're sort of like potato chips, you know. You, you I can't, really you can't tried it, so I can't really start, start with one and them, stop. You know, it's like very it, so it's very compelling we'll to keep doing these uh, I don't these tasks that get you it, the, the miles. I, I I try to resist, but every time I open the game, I'm I find myself kind of getting distracted by quests for more miles. You just you just want to do one more. Yeah, and it yeah. pops up again, and <laughs> right. you're like. Oh, that won't take me that long. Yeah, yeah. I only need two fish. I can get that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's cool how it kind of puts a little stamp down so you really feel like you've achieved something. Oh. Yeah. A and I think, you know, as much as the game is really about finding your own way and kind of just enjoying it at your own pace, the, the kind of uh, traditional video gamer in me loves having that guidance sometimes where, yeah. you know, there's like a checklist that I can kind of uh, aspire to kind of complete. Yeah. So I think that's a great combination. Thank you for like, that like, Jose. If you really want to... Um, I mean, like you said, just playing the game naturally, you're going to end up getting a lot of those Nook Miles and getting the rewards, but uh, you can really aggressively go after those if you want, mm -hmm, or just mm -hmm. kind of, you know, they're like a nice little extra pleasant gift whenever they I'm happen gonna to, have to occur. Replace my well, mouse at Kristen, some what about you? What are you looking forward to the most? It's kind of annoying. I'm here, looking forward to custom designs. Exactly 
Uh, we showed mm. off the custom design app within like new, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons and that you can add your designs there, but that also for all of the designs that you've made on Animal Crossing New Leaf or mm. Animal Crossing yeah. Happy Home Designer, they're not just disappearing. You can take them with you and import them into Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I know I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of designs that I've saved on my 3DS that I want to take over and still use in the current game. Uh, I'm just also really excited to see what other people make for the custom designs mm -hmm. and be able to kind of borrow them if they've made them available <laughs> online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, really in... we're totally looking forward to what other people <laughs> make. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some really talented artists out there that's going to have some great stuff to share. And yeah. and I don't know that I'm necessarily one of those talented artists, but in past games, I've really loved that ability to go in and kind of draw your own pixel art, whether you're putting it on clothing or a flag. Mm. And so I'm really looking forward to doing that here. Then the Nintendo Direct, they had some great little throw pillows. Someone had put on a couch that were decorated decorated with like a custom pixel palm tree design yeah. that, that I found pretty inspiring because it just fit the theme of the game so well. Yeah, I saw a lot of people excited yesterday about putting your own custom design on the mug cup. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. people really want to make their own mug cups now. Yeah, and yeah. so I'm excited to see pictures of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to have your own custom mug cup. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> All right, now, Anthony, what about you? What really popped off to you out of that Nintendo Direct? Um, so it's interesting for me because it's like, you know, they're new features. Um, but again, you know, I'm, I'm kind of new myself. So um, they're all they're all new. Essentially, I did I did play a little New Leaf, but still it's uh, it's new for me. But mm -hmm. um, the ability to kind of like reshape the island and mm. construct things. I thought that was really cool. Um, kind of just looking at what people were saying. People were pretty excited. Like you could like, you know, make a waterfall or something cool like that. Just do all Jeff kinds of Stone, cool things. Thank with, you for that. Um, like we're going to be getting started island. here so, shortly. I just, you know, that just opens up like a window, we'll like all kinds of windows is for how you want to, you know, you, decorate though. your, uh, your island. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, especially amongst every, what, you know, everybody else has said. So yeah. It's really satisfying to like build the cliffs or take down the yeah. cliffs or build your own <laughs> river uh, so we've spent a lot of time yeah. in treehouse playing around with that no more barriers you can do whatever you want <laughs> we, yeah when we first came across uh, some of these customization features many months ago we just sort of looked at each other and we're like oh wow can't wait to see what they what the internet does with this <laughs> yeah that's definitely one of those things it's one it's like an internet thing where you don't know what you can build until you see what other people can create yeah exactly <laughs> and uh it just yeah it's like never ending ideas i'm sure i'll have an idea and then i'll see somebody else's idea and then you know i'll be inspired and go back and play some more yeah there absolutely seems to be a lot more room for creativity this time around because when you used to visit um, another player's island in, in some past games, you know, there, there was only so much that the island could look different. You know, it's usually the same locations kind of, you know, shaped a little bit differently. And some people might have, have kind of unlocked different um, places that other people wouldn't have. But, uh, you know, if you really wanted to see someone's full creativity on display, you would go inside of a house. And that's where you would see how they, they decorated it out with the wallpaper and the furniture combinations. And, of course, that's still a big part of the new game. But... Now at the same time, you can kind of decorate the space around your house. You mm. can have those multi-level kind of like, you know, stairs going up to a, a higher elevation when then you've got the waterfall, like you said. So it seems like the islands are just gonna be a lot more personalized this time. So I think when you do, um, you know, go to visit a friend's island or go on the island tour uh, and visit a random island, they'll just be so many, the places will really seem a lot different, I think, which will add a lot of variety. And that's actually the, the aspect that caught my attention the most in the Nintendo Direct were the island tours, this ability to basically go to a randomized island and find new items and new creatures. And that's something I used to kind of do um, in a past game where you would take a boat out to an island, I think. And that was a way to kind of get some off-season fruit, if I remember correctly, or, or a good way to kind of, uh, you know, kind of um, build up some things to get a lot of bells as well. So I just know I'm going to be going on a lot of these island tours and just seeing what I can grab and bring back to my own island. Yeah, my, my wife um, is, is also really excited for the game. And so we're planning on playing a lot together. And uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to see kind of like, you know, we're right next to each other, but we have two totally different islands and different ideas and styles. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah. 
I'm excited to see what my dad does with this game. <laughs> he is a hardcore Animal Crossing fan. Oh, that's nice. great. And uh, I know that he plays it in a way that's much different than the way I play it. So I'm excited for him to get his hands on it, build up his island, and then be able to play together and like check out what he's done with the various uh, options that we have this yeah, time around. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be neat. I want to hear the stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I really love about this series is obviously, you know, I, I being such a big fan of Nintendo games in general, I'm always kind of up to speed on on the new games coming out and playing playing pretty much all of them. Um, but Animal Crossing is one of those series where suddenly everyone in my extended family are aware of it and they're yeah. big fans. So my sister and uh, my niece and my both my kids are all really eagerly awaiting this new game, and we're all planning to create our own. Um, you know, islands and then go uh, with our own Nintendo Switch systems and then go visit each other and, and see what we can do. So there's going to be a lot of just fun we have as a family around this game and I get to kind of share my love of Nintendo with everybody else, which is really cool. Yeah, I feel like we awesome really that felt that while... Oh, sorry. I was just saying those awesome designs that we're, that we're all planning on making too. I'm excited to see what you guys make. <laughs> yeah, I know. It'll be cool to see kind of like a little bit of bragging rights maybe to see uh, who's yeah. got the coolest stuff. Yeah. So, on Kristen uh, earlier, I I watched some reaction videos to the direct last night, and I kept I kept for, fast forwarding to the part where we unveiled the the terraforming, and uh, just watching the reactions for those specific part. It was, seemed like one of the the segments that made Jaws drop the most last yesterday. Yeah, it's cool. It, to see those reactions. It is. It's a huge game changer because, and I don't know, maybe other people had been wanting that feature but i had it hadn't even occurred to me and then when i saw it i just thought <laughs> of course of course you'd have to have that in this new version of the game it's just yeah. a perfect idea yep. yeah and i don't think i mentioned it but um the museum that that i'm really excited about that oh, too yeah. yeah um just because it looks amazing like you know it's just such a nice compliment to um your custom island to have this like really nice kind of fancy looking museum and I mean, it just looks amazing. I mean, we're talking about reactions. I mean, just even on social media, everybody's like, wow, that looks pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. really went all out this time with like the uh, the area with the, the, the shark tank and things like yeah. that that they saw in the, in the Nintendo Direct. Um, really gorgeous to look at. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the great things about this game is that there's just so much to do and you can approach it in like so many different ways. So next, I want to ask each of you what your focus will be when you start playing. Like, um, you know, will you put everything into upgrading your house or maybe collecting furniture or, or what? So, Kristen, how do you plan to start things off? I'm definitely more goal-oriented, like oriented. Mm -hmm. so I plan on hitting the Nook mileage <laughs> achievements real hard and getting as many miles as I can as quick as I can so mm -hmm. that I can unlock additional features um, that are available <clears throat> as the rewards for that. And uh, also... I really want Isabel, <laughs> and so that's going to be my my other goal is getting Isabel on my island as fast as I can. Yeah, that's, that's right because you have to upgrade that one uh, location enough times to where it, it's finally in the bigger form that Isabel will appear. Right, the resident services building. That's right, yeah, the yeah. resident services. Yeah, everybody everybody wants Isabel uh, as quickly as possible. <laughs> <I think. laughs> yeah. So, um, Anthony, what about you? What's your focus going to be? Well, um, you know, I mean, I'm all I, I gotta have a, a stylish, stylish place, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on getting, you know, my furniture right, crafting all those things to just uh, make it a really pleasant destination. Um, getting so, ready for visitors. Yeah, you know, I I have to please the people that are coming to my island. So and I wanna I wanna bring new people into my island. So um, yeah, that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on getting that stuff, uh, crafting those things so that I can have like something that looks really good meanwhile you know i'm definitely gonna you know do a lot of things in the background but that's kind of like my my goal there that's the first focus <laughs> yeah. yeah bill how about you so yeah Kristen and i have uh a significant familial family <laughs> we're almost uh, for this game so normally I, I would probably spend the first couple hours uh with with my dad uh, setting him up on his island, uh, my wife setting her up on her island, some in-laws, ne nephews and nieces. But I'm, I'm going to be at a uh, game developers conference uh, when Animal Crossing New Horizons launches. So so I have strategically uh, pre-ordered some copies to be sent to key family members, and I'm going to encourage them to, to help each other out. Uh, but my own personal island, 
uh, honestly, I, I might spend the first two hours on the beach. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know, we, we've been so up to our, our eyeballs in um, uh, development, and it's just sort of rush, 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 go, go, go. And, and um, you know, you ex- experience a lot of the game at a breakneck pace, trying to unlock everything as quickly as you can with the tools available to you. Um, so I want to play the game at the intended pace. I want to experience my island at its its uh, intended pace, and uh, I I'm just gonna relax and enjoy the first. I say I'm gonna relax for a couple hours. I, I might just walk on the beach and listen to the sounds of my footsteps on the sand and enjoy the ocean sounds. But in reality, I'll probably go after those uh, mileage uh, those nook miles pretty pretty hard pretty fast um, to unlock some of the the key features early on. Well, I mean, you're down on the beach, yeah. might get in a little fishing, yeah, you know. there's some seashells down there that you <laughs> mm-hmm. could pick up. It'll, it, you know. Just accidentally get some Nook Miles, yeah. Vacation yeah. activities. Yeah. yeah. I feel Relaxing like Miles. Yeah. With my experience um, with the series so far, it's, it's a very audible experience for me. Like sometimes I'll even listen to just Animal Crossing music yeah. um, from past games, and, and that's honestly one of the most enjoyable parts, I feel like, so... Um, in a similar way, yeah, I think I'm probably going to spend some time just kind of relaxing and enjoying that. Um, yeah. Hanging out with some of the newcomers on my island, of course. So. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that with just the Nintendo Direct that normally when you when you watch, you know, game trailers or, or you know, videos with, with game plan, things like that, you know, it usually has kind of an exciting, you know, pumping soundtrack. Animal Crossing just slows it way down. Of course I'll be your <laughs> Of course I'll be your friend. Let's uh see, see what we can see what we can get started here. here. I don't know how much static there's gonna be. I guess we'll start out with this. I usually get wrecked in it every time, but I'm curious to see how far we can go.
Need some practice. Okay. Let's see what's next here. Shit's hard. That shit will heighten your senses. Let's 
gonna end up on Dragon Quest, so I didn't want to do an RPG. You know what? Let's see what Sega has to say. Probably shouldn't have. Probably shouldn't have went live on all the pages with this, but yeah, I didn't know what else I was gonna do. So we'll figure it out. If anything, I'll probably go back to Pokemon like I always do. Shining Forest. Huh. Uh, Star Fantasy Star.
<clears throat> I've never played any fantasy cards, by the way, so this is completely blind. Out, so yeah, my retro morning will probably turn into Pokemon really quick. Okay, so we're looking for the principal, whoever that is. Huh. All right, where's the president? See, this is what gets me with some retro games. This is why I try to pick an RPG. Because I mean, but if I've never played it before, then there's gonna be a lot of a wandering around to like, figure it out. And uh, anything retro.
Dooney, my buddy Dooney. We have to figure this shit out. And just keep putting everything. Although I guess it is whatever grabs your attention. Bob. Enjoy your mornings with Bob. Oh, well, I have to come back pretty hard with, uh... Which fantasy star was this? Definitely don't want to continue. I don't want to continue on some stream because the title says retro. But that would be, be kind of deceptive. But to be fair, I guess I really should look up what I'm doing before I, uh, start playing. What the fuck? Okay. See if I can edit this title, and then we'll probably uh, go into something new.
cap attack. Let's get this a shot. titles. Yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't have a Sega when I was a kid, so a lot of these games to me, um, have the, oh shit, I've never even heard of. Damn it. Kind of slide over them. There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. What's up, bitch? Oh, yeah. Fucking eat that shit. Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 
on, give me a suit. Oh, well, there's the finish line. <laughs> this shit's hard, man. Yeah, reload. Yeah, nobody wants to see me get murked. with these other, other videos say see if I have to edit these video titles too because if they say retro then I'm gonna change them yeah they do so I'm gonna go ahead and change all of this and when I get back we're gonna I'm gonna do some studies on uh Some of these retro games like Dragon Quest I definitely want to finish. But yeah, let's go back to Pokemon Sword. I was gonna just do Mario Kart, Mario, but I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll look around, but, you know, some of these you really gotta have the patience for. Bum 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 b
bum ba bum bum so much for retro retro should have went with Mario I had a lot of practice off screen and a lot of you retro streamers I mean, uh, how much do you practice, like, off-screen? And some retro players, I mean, they just do RPGs, but a lot of these dudes are good, like, uh, Mr. G, the retro gamer. Um, retro Revolution does a lot of shit, too. But the retro RPGs, I guess, could be pretty simple as long as you have a guide. Let me change this title so it's not so misleading. You know what? I may start this. I may just delete this whole video. is cinematic gaming there's really no cinematics in retro but I at least wanted to try a few of these uh, old school um, RPGs supposed to hook up the uh, PS4 for l lunchtime too. How uh, upsetting. What game do you tag if you played every single game? No, I'm not even gonna...
whatever. It was tragic. Tragic. Well, at least we looked at some games. I had a lot of uh, spark in me before I started switching the PS4 to the Switch. And then it wouldn't work, and then I had to unplug and switch so many wires. And then by the time I get to it, and it's like, ah, uh, then I need practice. Oh, thank you for all the likes. Wow. So, so much for retro mornings. I think I'll pick one game, uh, like a platformer, and I'll probably practice with that. And I'll come back. I'll come back to that. Practice a little off screen. But I have been recording a lot off of screen already. So it's like, if I'm not recording, uh, what was the last thing? Hello, how are you? If I'm not recording, um, the last thing I was doing was South Park and I lost that save data. Deadpool, that was really fun. Um, not gonna let me edit uh. come on now a mess. Wow, it will not let me fucking change anything. Seriously, a bit annoying. I tried. I think next time we'll lead off with Mario. I do this. <sighs> but I'm pretty pissed off right now. I'm not pissed off, but... I don't want to butcher your name. So I want to say Leo Leonas Joasso. I'll just say Molina. <laughs> Is your last name? I guess surname. There we go. Almost there. Okay. Finally. So let's look and see what we have. 